then we don't have much amount of time remaining with us less than one month of time so uh, we got to work our ass off okay, even i've been on uh, a lot of trips here and there okay and it's time for me to focus on you guys and um, this is the 10th chapter we are studying and we have been following uh, the pathfinder book and uh, today we wanted to study compound interest right so thank you so much for joining both of you i'm really honored that you guys have joined uh, even though you know i've not been that uh, uh, you know uh, regular with you guys okay i've been changing times i've been calling you at odd hours and, and all that sort of stuffs but still you guys have made it over here and uh, uh, you know i'm i'm, I'm very happy okay. even if it's one i'm i'm very happy okay so today we are going to study this uh, chapter called uh, compound interest okay we should not think in silos okay we should not think in silos okay like what you should not think you know compound interest and we are studying only if we study this this will be helpful for me in cds only no 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 it can be helpful for you in caps examination also afcat examination also maybe just in case if you are appearing for ssc maybe okay i know you guys are not appearing but still it will be helpful there as well okay maybe you guys are appearing for civil services the second paper okay see that it can be useful over there as well okay so that is why you have we should not think in terms of silos okay my girlfriend she is a uh, she is going to be a doctor okay and i told her that one of my friend he is an mba and uh, he is getting married okay so she asked me she asked me why is he getting married should he not uh, start working or get a job and then marry okay then i asked her why does it not happen in you guys that while pursuing your internship the the those people get married right so her thought is in silos okay she cannot look at the bigger picture the the picture as a whole okay right so uh, that's her limitation maybe she will uh, uh, learn in due course of time with her life uh, knowledge and experiences as she uh, uh, you know uh, grows more okay uh, let me put it that way okay by the way she's of my age only yeah i mean yeah it's that way anyways guys uh, enough of story so today we wanted to study this compound interest chapter and uh, we were um, you know uh, we can expect like one to two questions in this chapter okay i have been teaching you guys something called multiplying factor right okay 10% anything increased by 10% this is nothing but 1.1 okay anything increased by 25% this can be written in terms of 1.25 okay anything increased by 58% can be okay let's say decreased by 58% can be written as 0.42 this is a is the principal concept that we will be applying in this entire chapter this is the only principal concept that will be entire will be applying in the entire chapter okay the same multiplying factor this is a very important stuff guys right okay my cat master used to teach me like hell okay he used to keep me on my toes okay and i realized it okay when even if you taught you know take chapters like uh, profit and loss and uh, let's say even percentage okay and chapters like that that's it this is the only underlying chapter okay even in simple interest this is the only underlying concept okay this is the only thing we need to study and understand so let's get started with the chapter the meaning of compound interest it says that when the interest is calculated on the amount of previous year then it is known as compound interest it will make a deposit loan grows at a faster rate than simple interest obviously okay let's say 1000 rupees are there okay abhikaran gave to aryan okay let's 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 uh, keep it that way okay and abhikaran gave to aryan for 2 years at the rate of 10% just for sim simplicity for the sake of simplicity i'm choosing this number i could have chosen 581234 something like that but yeah correspondingly to calculate 10 percent of it you know 5812.4 and again the 10 percent of it, it it's a hell lot of a job for me okay right okay maybe i can do that job 
but uh, uh, I'll probably uh, prefer using calculator then, right? But uh, since I'm trying to tell you what exactly is happening, okay? If it is a simple interest, okay, you already know it. 1000 is the principal, 2S is the time, 10% is the interest, okay? That means 20% will be levied as the charge to RN and, and RN will have to pay 1200 rupees at the end of two years, right? At the end of two years to Abhikaran. Why? Because two into 10, 20% and 1000, 20% of 1000 is nothing but your 200, right guys? Okay. So this is how, this is what, what it is happening. 1000 rupees first year, simple interest is how much? 100, okay. Second year, simple interest is how much? Again, 100 only, right? And that's how we got to pay him back 1,200 rupees, okay? Now, let's see what happens with compound interest. You all already know it, but I want you guys to know the mechanism for two years, 10%, okay? Year one, okay, year one, what happened? What happened at year one, 10%, okay? 1,000 rupees, 1,000 rupees will remain as it is, okay? Plus, okay, this one year, year one, the first year, Avikaran will earn 10% of interest, that means 100 rupees of interest, right? And in year two, what will happen? I'm talking about the whole money, okay? All of the money, entire amount of money, okay? This 1000, he will have to return back, obviously, yes, okay? But this was the interest incurred last year, right? This was the interest incurred last year. Plus, out of this 1000, for this 1000, again this year, another 100 rupees of interest will be incurred. Okay, and from year one to year two, what will happen? This hundred rupees that was earned as a simple interest last year will earn another ten percent. Okay, that means ten rupees extra. So how much is that? That is one two one zero, right? So this is your compound interest over here. So how do we put it? How do we put it? Okay. It is like for 1000 rupees, this is a principal amount, 1 plus R by 100, okay, R is 10 by 100 raised to the power time, time is how much? 2 years, right? So 1000, this is what I have been telling you, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 10 by 100 or in other words, okay, this is nothing but 1.1 also. If you just calculate this, you'll get 1.1, simply write 10% increase, just write 1.1 square. How much is that? 1.21. If you just multiply it, how much is this number? 1210. In the simple interest case, he was earning, Avikaran was earning only 1200 rupees, but in the compound interest case for the two years, he is earning 10 rupees extra. Right. Right. Is it clear, guys? Is it clear? Yes, yes. or no? Good. Cool. Okay. Yes. So when a component will make a deposit loan grow at a faster rate than simple interest, okay, right, okay. Just a small question, let's say if I ask you something at 10%, okay, compounded annually, compounded annually, okay, 10% compounded semi-annually, okay, semi-annually, 10% per annum, this is all per annum, okay. 10% compounded monthly, okay, 10% compounded daily. In which of these four scenarios, the interest earned will be the highest? In which of this, the, the interest earned will be highest? Look, if it is compounded annually 10%, it will be effectively 10% only, okay. Basically, 100 rupees will eventually become your 110 rupees, right? If it is compounded semi-annually, what will happen? This number, this number will have to be reduced to 5% because it is semi-annually, right? But in this case, what will happen? This 1.05, okay? Basically, writing 1 plus 5 by 100, okay? Raised to the power 2 because time period is semi-annually. In one year, I'm talking, okay? In one year, in one year, time, not time period, time is one. Our area time period is two. Right now. Now tell me 
what is this use the calculator and tell me what is this value what is this value guys use the calculator and tell me what is this value just trying to understand make you guys understand what this hell is okay is it bigger than okay 1.05 raised to the power 2 okay this will give you one point this much okay in 200 right one moment raised to the power 2 sorry this number is not this this number is 1.1025 in 200 okay how much is that 110.25 okay over here over here in the first case it was 110 or it was 110.25 now you can guess where will we have the highest okay if it is monthly over here means what monthly over here means what 1 plus 10 by 12 raised to the power 12 again right now so how much is that 1 plus 10 by 12 how much is that you can use the calculator plus 1 1 plus 10 by 12 10 divided by 12 1 plus 10 by 12 in 200 right? over here two more zeros are required okay so 10 divided by 12 0 0 uh, plus 1 okay raised to the power 12 okay this value will come out to be your 1.1047 if you multiply that with 100 how much is this value okay is it 110.47 is it 110.47 isn't it bigger in the absolute terms in the absolute terms is it bigger which one is bigger this one is bigger than this one than this one so obviously if we compound it daily this number will be bigger than this number right right yes or no yes, yes. or no yes sir okay so compound interest formula p stands for principal a stands for amount amount is nothing but your p plus i that means principal plus interest r is the rate of uh, interest per annum and is the number of years okay and is the number of years okay and t is the time period okay right t is the time period I'm pretty much sure you guys now know what is the difference between number of years and time period. Okay. I can say five years. Okay. Compounded, compounded semi annually. Okay. So in five years, time is five years, time period is how much? It's 10. Okay. Because it is compounded semi annually. Semi annually means six months, six months, six months, six months, six months, six months. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. How many times are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is what time period. Time period. Okay. How many times? That is 10. Okay. So they have given you the formula. Amount is equal to P plus 1. 1 by R by 100 into N. Okay. That's it. Okay. Did we come across the same formula while doing the population question? Right. Did we not come across the same kind of formula? Right. Just in the in, in place of money, what did we have? We had population, right? Okay. Let us say there's a population of a village, thousand. For the sake of simplicity, let's take this number. Okay. And the uh, population of the city is growing at the rate of 10 percent per annum after three years what will be the population this will be this population this is the initial population is it p plus one plus r by hundred raised to the power three right this is why i've been telling you to be on orthodox do not think in silos look at the whole picture okay connect the dots and it comes with a lot of practice right this is nothing but your multiplying factor that i have been talking about this is 1.1 so 1000 into 1.1 cube okay how much is that 1.331 1000 into 1.331 uh, is this number correct guys please check okay yes, sir. So this is one three three one will be a population. Okay. Had there been money in this in this case, what would have been the answer? The same answer. Okay. Ten percent interest, three years compounded annually. How much money will be there? One three three one. That's it. 
okay and everybody knows that compound interest we have to find out this is the amount okay so p into 1 plus r by 100 into n minus p that's it p is taken common then you get this for formula over here 1 by 100 into n minus 1 right so the question one you want to learn the formula you learn the formulas but there's no no there's 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 an actually any formula for us to learn this is the uh, real damn thing that i really want you guys to understand apply your brain and understand why is it happening how is it happening okay then in the question even though they twist it you will know you will do it okay but people run for formulas that's the problem okay the amount and the compound interest on 24 thousand compounded annually for two years can we write 1.1 square tell me what is this 1.21 1.21 multiplied by 24000 how much is this number can someone confirm how much is this number okay how much is this number guys uh, 1 to 1 24 4 8 4 1 2904 yeah obviously it was pretty much obvious 29040 will be your amount and this value minus 24000 will give you how much 5040 will be your interest amount right right had it been had it been simple interest 10 into 2 20 percent how much is that only 4800 but in the compound interest it's 5040 right guys so that's why banks when they give you loans like the loans as i have got as an educational loan they compound it daily right but when you go for an fd what they do they will tell you that will give you will compound it yearly see see the maths behind their <laughs> i mean business yeah okay so that's how it works so we'll move to the next one we don't have much to learn today so we can wind up a little early maybe yeah okay so yeah so when the interest is compounded half yearly every six months you don't need to learn all these idiotic formulas if you want to learn you learn it okay the compound yeah but wherever formula is required i'll tell you okay let's be that way the compound interest on 24000 okay 24000 24000 okay compound interest they have asked okay compounded semi-annually semi-annually okay 10 percent per annum 10 percent per annum means what half yearly six month five percent will be the case right okay semi-annually for one and half years okay so one and half years means what how much time period is how much three three yeah so one plus r by 100 raised to the power 3 2400 1.05 whole cube minus principal which is 2400 will we get what will we get we will get the compound interest which is essentially your ci okay this is your 1.05 whole cube minus 1 right right now okay so now over here you see what 10 percent per annum i wanted to i wanted you guys to learn something over here 10 percent per annum for one and a half years that means had it been the case of simple interest the effective interest would have been 15 percent for this one and a half years right now right now yes or no guys yes or no effectively had it been the case of simple interest the effective interest for the one and a half years would have been 15 percent 10 percent for 10 percent for year one and five percent for the half of the year that means 15 percent and what is 15 percent of 24,000? 2400 plus 1200063 we are damn sure that the number which we'll be getting over here has to be greater than this number okay has to be greater than this number yes or no tell me yes or no yes or no it has to be greater than this number we can check out these two okay even if you are going for you know 
inky pinky ponky for sure you will not take b and c if you do that that would be a crime that would be a criminal offense right but yeah look the the uh, answers are pretty much close okay so they haven't left with any other option than to solve 1.05 whole cube so i will use the calculator okay uh, for now but uh, if you want uh, you can calculate it like this also okay 5 Zero, zero, zero. It, it doesn't take much of a time. Okay. It doesn't really take much of a time. Okay. 5, 2, 10, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Then uh, 1.05. Okay. 5, 5, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. This one gone. This one gone. 5, 2, 0, 1, 1. Okay. And this 5, 2, 6, 7, 5, 1, 1. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So one point one five seven six two five. Okay. So can we can we keep it like something like one point one six or something like that? Just for the sake of simplicity. Okay. So what is one point uh, one six of this number? Okay. What is 1.16 of this number? 15 percent. So we have to minus. Sorry. We have to minus the one, right? Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to minus the one. But effectively, what did we observe? That it's 16 percent, right? 16 percent, close to the 16 percent we have got, right? Sir, but I think we have to take the whole value, sir, because there are two options which are uh, almost same. 3763 and 3783. Yeah. Yeah. Is 20. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm coming on to that. Okay. If we did not get this with, with approximation, then we'll be left with no other option but to calculate this. So let's say 16%. 15% is we already know this. Okay. How much is the 1%? How much is 1%? 2600. Okay. This is more than half of the percent. Okay. So 3600. 240 0483. Okay, less than that. Okay, okay. This is how much? One point is this number is this number greater than this? That means how much? Half of this, right? Over here, 16% was there, but even the half of this. Okay, so how much is that? 3600. Plus 120, 0, 2, 7, 3, 3, 7, 2, 0. Okay, we are not left with any other choice. It will be greater than this and both of these options are greater than this. So do one thing, 2, 4, 0, 0, 0 into 0 0.157625. Please do it and let me know what is the answer. It's not a big, of, it's not a very big calculation. And why I have written one zero point one five seven six two five? Avikaran was telling minus one. I've just reduced this one. Okay, just check this one out. Will will we get the compound interest directly from here? Yes or no? Calculate yes, this one. Yeah, one five seven six two five. The op option answers are pretty too close, so we are not really left with uh, uh, much of an answer. So if you calculate this, you will get three seven. 83 as your answer guys okay i've used the calculator okay so don't freak out how did sir do it so fast or something like that no i'm not human calculator i'm normal human yeah shall we move to the next one yes sir. in this uh introductory classes you just need to enjoy the show but since we are not left with much of a time uh, with us okay uh, we might not have these many, uh, you know, too many questions, but today I just wanted to take it a little slow. Uh, today only I, I reach at, uh, at around 4 p.m. in the evening and my uh, room was very dirty. Um, I took bath and, 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 you know, did all my clothes and all that stuff. Okay. So anyways, okay. So when the interest is compounded quarterly, okay, every three months, okay, interest is compounded quarterly, okay. Oh, one moment. Do you do you think you guys we guys need all these idiotic formulas? Yes or no? I mean these formulas are pretty much the same, right? Interest compounding, interest compounding quarterly, interest compounding quarterly, right? 
so so what will happen what actually will happen the the rate effectively the rate will become how much quarterly means okay. one yeah by four one two three four in a year there will be four periods okay four time periods right so rate will effective rate will become r by four and your time period time period will get multiplied by four okay for x or x4 or whatever way you want to represent it that's your choice okay let's go on to the question the amount and compound interest on how many zeros are there five five zeros yeah okay so one two three four five okay p into one plus r by hundred compounded quarterly for nine months nine months means how much three time period right now three months three months three months quarterly means three months not four months okay in a year there are four quarters right quarter half of half okay when you go to a hotel you say no i want only the quarter plate of uh, butter chicken or maybe paneer butter masala if you're a vegetarian something like that okay so this is half of half okay this full plate there's half of that plate and there's another half of that place this is what your quarter half and full right this is how it works out right now and four percent per annum four percent per annum that means it will effectively get reduced to one percent can we write 1.01 directly can we write 1.01 directly do do you want me to write one plus one by hundred if you calculate this you will reach this only yes or no i want you guys to write it like this directly and not this and even thinking that terms one person that means 1.01 yeah right now into three how much is that how much is that 1.01 it uh, looks like some sort of uh, you know uh, yeah that was pretty much obvious okay so option b and c are pretty close in that case okay so this this value will come out to be your 1.0301 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 into 1.0303031 okay 1 2 3 4 5 okay 1 2 3 4 5 okay one moment 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 0 3 0 3 no 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 it's not uh, this one it's zero three zero three and then zero zero three zero three zero one yeah zero three zero three zero one okay so one two three four five six one two three four five okay so one one two three four five that's it one okay right so this is your amount this is your amount which answer option is correct c obviously this is the only answer option in examination just just c okay yeah you found out that this is the answer this is matching 103030.1 that's it do not go on to do minus one uh, and all that sort of stuff to find 3030 that's that's also pretty much obvious right okay but just you found out that c if only first only C option is matching just tick this and move on no second thought not even wasting 10 seconds of your time to think that what is what will happen if we reduce this uh, to this number will we get 3030.10 something like that right clear guys shall we move yes sir okay yeah when the interest is compounded annually interest compounded annually okay but time is given in fraction time is given in fraction do we need a special case do we need a special rule for this no, sir. no we don't we really don't this is completely idiotic stuff to write rule for and, and and writing all this shitty thing over here i do not really subscribe to all these idiotic formulas okay yeah sometimes formula may be necessary which you will see okay so the amount and compound interest on 5000 okay 5000 compounded annually okay compounded annually for 
टू इयर्स सिक्स मंथ्स एट द रेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट पर एन एम इज ओके दिस इज अ गुड वन दिस इज अ रियली रियली गुड वन ओके सो हाउ विल यू राइट इट हाउ विल यू राइट इट विल यू राइट इट टेन बाय हंड्रेड इन टू टू पॉइंट फाइव ideally yes ideally yes okay we will take help of the calculator to find out this value okay 5000 into 1.1 raised to the power 2.5 okay so 1.1 raised to the power 2.5 it's a uh, 5000 into 1.27 close to 27 it's 1.26905870628 uh 88337 okay so let's write it like this okay which in will multiplied by 1.27 what will we get okay we will be getting we'll get this one okay which number is closest to this which number is closest to this okay so one moment 1.27 into 5000 yeah okay so option d is your closest to the option no 53 uh sorry 6350 option d is the closest to this okay so this is one way this is one way right okay so we'll conclude that yeah you you don't now break your head why it is 6350 but in the answer option 6352.5 and all that sort of stuff okay we have taken this number over here right we haven't taken the actual numbers okay so uh this one will be your answer d now now what okay now what will we do is that it's two and half years okay two years six months okay it's compounding annually okay so where what are time compounding at the end of year 1 year 1 compounding okay at the end of year 2 again compounded and then at the end of year half of year 3 3 by 2 okay that means 6 months 6 months 1 year 1 year right so two so one time two time it will get compounded for sure it will get compounded right right now so 5000 into 1.1 square how much is that okay uh 1 to 1 5 Sixty, this much. At the end of two years, at the end of two years, right. Now the compounding will happen at the end of this, 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 this third year. But the third year isn't complete yet, right. But ten percent per annum, right now. So eventually, eventually, what will happen? Five percent, right. Five percent will be for the six months. Will be required over here. What is the five percent of this value? Is it three hundred two point five? Is it three hundred two point five? Five percent of that two five three six. Now we got the exact same answer. Okay, what they have given six three five two point five rupees. Is it clear, guys? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, sir. You did not know. You did not know how to find one point one raised to the power two point five without using calculator. You could not do it. So we found another way. Year one, year two, two times compounding for sure. Year three compounding would have happened at the end of third year, but it's it's getting terminated at the six months period itself, right? So from the up till this point, the amount was six zero five zero. So we have just found out. We have just added the five percent of this value to get this answer, six three five two point five. That's it. Okay. You want to learn the formula? You can learn the formula. It's your choice. So, right, guys. Okay. So at the examination, like you will think, oh, now it's a two point five. What, what should I do? How should I proceed? Yeah. You can get a dicey at that point of time, but uh, this is how we should do it. Okay. Right, guys. It's so your choice if you want to learn the formula, and I don't hate the formulas per se, but I like working it this way. 
okay let's try to find it out formula as well with the formula method as well so p into 1 plus r by 100 okay let's say that it represented say t a by b okay t a by b means what t a by b means two and a half years okay this is what in essentially this is what they have done essentially this is what they have done okay t into 1 plus a by b r by 100 okay if you calculate this value p 5000 into 1 plus r r is how much 10 percent into t is 2 will we not get this value only essentially is it not the same into multiplied by 1 plus a b into r a b r a b r means 5 percent a b r 5 1 plus 5 okay 2 r a by b into r okay actually this number this was supposed to be this supposed to be 1 plus a b into r by 100 it was supposed to be like this okay right okay which is essentially 1 plus 5 by 100 okay which is nothing but 1.05 okay multiplying factor mf mf multiplying factor okay now we can knows it right okay so 1.05 50 multiplied by 1.05 which will essentially give you 6352.5 where you supposed to learn the formula guys no right shall you move to the next question is this one clear to you all we reach 6050 6050 we reach 6050 and then we are getting just the complete hang and feel of it just even the five percent of it even if you just write 300 6350 just just for sake of approximation we can easily eliminate a b and c yeah check it out that's it right Aryan? this is what you are trying to say yes sir yeah absolutely we don't have to go to all the nitty gritties to find 6352.5 and all that sort of stuff no it's not required right in examination don't do it we are just learning that's why we are doing it oh so we'll move to the next one when the rate of interest for n1 n2 n3 r um r1 r2 r3 yeah easy one successive discount is the same a sold to b at 10 percent profit b sold to c at 15 percent profit and c sold to d at 20 percent profit how much was d sold if the cost is 100 rupees if a bought it for 100 rupees don't we do 100 into 1 plus 10 by 100 into 1 plus 15 by 100 let's say c sold it for 20 percent loss if it is loss means what 1 minus 20 by 100 okay how much will you write 100 into 1.1 into 1.15 okay this value how much is that 0 0.8 isn't it calculate it it's 0 0.8 right 20% loss that means 1 became 0 0.8 20% profit that means 1 became 1 1.2 15% profit that means 1 became 1 1.15 15% loss that means 1 became 0 0.85 clear guys it should be in your mi mind mouth heart soul everywhere okay and make your problem solving fun okay if you want to dodge their mathematics uh, you know time is the factor guys you will have effectively one and a half hours of time 90 minutes of time to solve 100 questions okay so you are racing against the time it's not a two hours paper guys i tell you it's an illusion right 100 question omr sheet your attendance sheet and all that shit is stuff right your paper here and there writing you using pen paper and all that stuff so the compound interest on 5000 for four years if the rate of interest 10 percent per annum for the first two years that means 1.1 square okay and for the next two years it is 1.15 square how much is that can you guys use the calculator and tell me yeah 1.1 square is 1.21 okay into 
1.15 raised to the power 2 it will give you how much uh, 1.6 this will give you close to 1.6 okay this when you calculate it will be close to 1.6 right and there's a there's another way okay if you 1.15 right 1.15 okay 1.15 there's a way to calculate it okay if you guys have attended all the you know afcat classes okay i have been telling these guys the afcat classes once i have told it okay if you read math vedic mathematics there we have this stuff okay how to calculate this in one single line okay how to calculate this in one... there's one way you find out okay 5 square 25 5 7 5 5 1 1 then 5 1 1 okay then you write all that stuff okay but there's another way okay i'll tell you I i'll come back to this 1.5 and 1.15 okay one moment okay this is 1.6 into 5000 how much is that this is your 8000 close to 8000 oh it is 8000 and 1 okay right 8000 and 1 <laughs> so the options are pretty too close okay so uh, this value is basically your uh, 1.600 225 right now okay so one two three okay one two three how much will it how much it will give you into five thousand one two three this is at the fourth position if it is multiplied by five thousand will it give you at least one extra will it give you one extra right so it will become something like close to eight thousand one right close to 8001 yeah you got to be a little sharp over here guys okay right i did not look at the option so i assume that okay 1.600225 let us assume it to be uh you know 1.6 but then yeah here's the catch guys the option is 3000 3001 3002 all of this okay they are a step ahead sometimes yeah we can't do we can't help it if they want to make the question paper tough they will give you calculation intensive okay and uh, approximation helps yes it helps but somewhere somewhere uh, over here what approximation will you use okay we can't eliminate anything unless you find this out okay right so it is 8001 basically your 3001 will be your answer b okay now coming on to is it clear to you guys shall i erase all of this okay now i come to this 1.15 1.15 sorry guys yeah so first let's understand let's let's try to do it 58 into 58 or for that matter let's let's take any double decker number okay double decker number these are called a double decker number how do you do it okay first take the rightmost number both of it write down okay then crisscross and plus okay that means 32 plus 35 write down okay 20 that's it okay it was 56 then uh, your 67 then your 20 okay 56 write down 6 5 carry forward 72 write down 2 7 carry forward 27 this is your answer okay you want to do it more faster just write down 7 into 8 56 6 5 in your hand okay 7 into 5 35 8 into 4 32 32 35 32 into 2 64 plus 3 67 plus 5 72 2 7 20 27 that's it yeah you don't need to write even this if you want to write if you want to learn you write you can write this but when you learn it your speed your calculation speed will become more faster and you will you can directly write from this to this okay so 1.15 let's, let's just work out with 115 and 115 let's just forget the uh, pointers we know that after four digits from the right hand side we got to place the point okay so first take the right hand side okay right most side okay these two five five 
25. That's it. Write down. Okay. Now you take these two, these two, this, this double decker, this double decker. Add them. Okay. 5, 5, 10. That's it. Now we take all three of them. Crisscross. Okay. Let's, let's write it as A, B, C. Okay. Uh, X, Y, Z. Okay. First, we did what? Let's write it over here. Okay. A, B, C, X, Y, Z. This is what we are doing. First, we did C, Z. Okay. Then we did B, Z plus C, Y. Now, we will do what? We will do A, Z. That means left corner and the bot, uh, uh, top left corner and bottom uh, right corner plus B, Y plus C, X. Then we will do again A, Y plus B, X. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's not legible to you. Just give me one moment. Okay. And then X, Y. Okay. We'll do this one again. Don't worry. Okay. So first left hand side, these two. 25. We wrote it down. Okay. Now, uh, let me take the eraser. Yeah. Now, we took this one. These two. 5, 1. 5 into 1. Double decker. Okay. The, the, the first two. These two. One moment. These two. And we did what? Crisscross. Okay. 5 into 5. And 5 into 5. 10. Okay. Now, we will do crisscross and this okay so 5 into 5 5 5 into five, sorry 5 into 1 5 and 5 into 5 again 10 and 1 to 1 11 okay write down okay now these two alone 1 into 1 and 1 into 1 2 now this alone this one alone now this is 5 2 carry forward over here 12 2 1 carry forward over here 1 again 1 3, 1. This will be your 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 is your stuff. Okay. So, how much is this? 1, 1, 5 into 1, 1, 5. It's 1, 3, 2, 2, 5. Sorry. Over here, 5, 2. Over here, 1 carry forward. No. So, this 11 became 12. Okay. 1, 3, 2, 2, 5. Right. Let me do it again for you guys. 1, 1, 5. 1, 1, 5. Okay. You can take any numbers. Okay. First is this. Okay. Sorry. First is this. First step is this. Second step is this. Third step is this. It's like solving Rubik's Cubes if you have ever solved it. Yeah. And this. Remember this one. Okay. So first we do this one. 25. 5. 2 remaining in hand. Okay. Now this one. Right. First this one is over. Now this one. 5, 5, 10, 12, 2, 1 remaining. Now we will do this one. Right. And this one. 5 and 5, 10. And this one. 11. And plus 1. That was from carry forward. 12, 2, 1 remaining. Okay. Still. Now we will do this one. 1, 1, 2. Plus 1, 3. Now, lastly, we will do this one. Guys, guys, I mean, did you get a slight hang and feel of it? At least slight hang and feel of it. Okay. I have some practice questions for you. 4, 2. Okay. And uh, let's say 9, 6. Let's perfect this uh, 2 by 2 first. Then we will we'll jump into 3 by 3 some days later. Okay. Right. First, these two. 12. Right, write down two. One remaining. Everyone knows one remaining. Carry forward. Now crisscross. Six into four, twenty-four. Nine into two, eighteen. Eighteen, twenty-four. How much is that? Thirty-six plus six, forty-two. Right. Forty-two plus one was carry forward. Three, forty-three. Four remaining. Now this thirty-six plus four, forty. Is it clear, guys? At least did you guys learn double decker? At least did you guys learn the double decker? Yes or no? The rule is only this, this and this. Yes or no guys? I mean, if you did not learn it, you can say no. I'll teach you again. Yes or no guys? Guys, yes or no? Yes sir. Yes, Avikaran, did you get it? Did you get this double decker stuff guys? Avikaran, did you get it? Are you there? Slept. Okay.
so first these two okay 8 into 6 8 into 2 sorry 16 6 one carry forward okay write it down somewhere okay let me change the color of the pen in that case you guys are not getting it let me use a yellow now you will do this 8 into 4 32 7 into 2 14 32 14 how much is that 46 plus 1 47 write down 7 how much 4 carry forward now okay let me change the color again now this alone 7 into 4 28 plus 1 29 one two nine two nine seven right sorry yes. uh, uh the carry forward was four and not one okay so mm -hmm. it will be 32 and not uh this number it will be three two seven six right is it clear avikaran for you is it clear yes or no i want you guys both of you to answer me 97 into 78 double decker format tell me tell me first what six. i should write yeah six five carry forward okay yes yeah six. now do the crisscross 72 plus 49 yeah 72 plus 49 72 plus 50 is how much 142 72 72 plus 50 is how much 122 122, sorry, 121. Yeah, 122. 49 is 1 minus than 50. That means 121 we are dealing with. Plus 5, 126. That means we will write 6. How much carry forward? 12. 12, yeah. Except the union digit, all are carry forward. Now tell 75. me. 75. Avikaran, did you get it? Did you get it, Avikaran? Yes or no? Avikaran, are you up for a question? Avikaran, are you there? Are you there, buddy? Okay. Uh, I think uh, he got it, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the next uh, stuff. In that case, the difference D between simple and compound interest accrued on P at the rate of interest R percent is given by, okay, for two years. Okay. D is equal to PR square 100 square. Okay. In this case, it might be useful for you to learn the formula. Yes. Okay. But only for two years. From three years onward, it starts getting complicated. Okay. It says the difference, the question says the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest in a certain sum at 12% per annum for two years is 90. Okay. Difference they have given 90. P we don't know. Right. Since we don't know the P into 100 square, right, divided by R square, that means will be the P. We just rearranging all these stuffs. So 100 into 100 into 90, R square is how much? <coughs> 12 into 12, right. So how much is this? 90 divided by 12 into 12, 144. If you calculate it, you will get it like this okay this is one way this is one way okay you might want to know the formula the learn the formula over here yes it's a good thing to know the formula over here because going by the method going by the concept it might get a little lengthy little little lengthy but it's not that lengthy either honestly it's not that lengthy either okay Let's say two years they are saying what are the premises they have given 12% is the rate two years and difference they have given 90. Okay, obviously if they have given this difference. So compound interest minus simple interest they might have given or otherwise is it simple interest minus compound interest? Which one is this? Obviously this one yeah. must have been the case. Yeah, yeah first one. Yeah, for obvious reasons because compound interest will give us uh, more amount, right? Simple interest, we don't know the value. Let's call it P for two years. How much simple interest? P into 24%. Is it like 0.24P? Is it like 0.24P? Simple interest. Right. Now, compound interest. How much? P, we don't know. Right. P, we don't know. 1.12 whole square 
minus p right now right now okay now they have given now they have given p 1.12 whole square minus p minus 0.24 p is equal to 90 can we find the value of p over here yes or no and to find the value of p over here we need to find the square of we need to find out 112 into 112 3 by 3 multiplication how much is that okay so i'm using the calculator over here 1.2544 p minus p if you do this minus p can we simply check out can we simply check out this value from here oh hell and the even the two went on to the task can we write it something like this minus 0.24 p is equal to 90 can we write 0. Point, how much 44 4, p 10 that's it is equal to 90 this p is equal to 90 divided by 0. 0.0144 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 same thing calculate this much we are back to the ground one are we back to ground one ground zero right now yeah it's the same six two five zero right right now yes sir. same for i do not suggest you guys to know or remember the formula for for any years yeah for any years how how much does it take for you guys to deduce all these okay rather than to remember some extra formula had they given you five years all of this formula goes on to a toss right right now yes but this but this methodology but this actual way of doing it holds good for whether it is 100 years 200 years 500 years we, we nobody cares about it right okay i just move on to the next one then and this one first you guys trying to solve it or tell me at least what you think of this you yep, guys look look carefully look over here some principal amount is there let's 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 call it 100 rupees okay at the end of year one there will be some some money okay let's say x okay year one y one at the end of year two there will be another you know compounding it would have become y right at the end of year three y three would it have become z right or wrong right or wrong tell me the progression from y to z is it a simple interest or a compound interest tell me this one the value that has moved from the year end of year two to end of year three what is this sort of thing and what sort of this thing is happening it's just a simple change is it even compounding in between no it's not compounding it's just the simple growth right just the simple growth isn't it yes or no yes sir. so 9680 was at the a sum of money on compounding interest amounts to in year two at the end of end of year two and 10648 is at the end of year three that means what if we just 10648 minus 9680 divided by 9680 will we get the percentage will we get the percentage guys yeah obviously yeah we'll get the we'll, we'll get the percentage yeah how much is that zero how much is that nine is there anything remaining yeah nine six eight zero okay is it close to is it close to ten percent is it close to ten percent yes sir. yeah i mean not exactly ten percent yeah Absolutely. Oh yeah, sorry. It's nine sixty eight. Yeah, right. It's uh, not not uh, approximately. It's exactly ten percent. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you so much. Right. So the rate is ten percent. So rate of compound interest is a two minus a one divided by one a one. You uh, you need to understand the the change from y to z is not compound interest. It just it just it just hundred rupees changing to 125 rupees so how much is the change 25 percent that's it yeah 
you don't have to think in terms of what happened in the past year one year two and all that stuff okay now you know now you know amount you know you know x into uh you know one plus r by hundred is this value okay nine six eight zero one point one into two right basically your nine six eight zero divided by one point two one will you get the x or otherwise the principal amount will you get it will you get it yes or, or otherwise you could also do one six four eight divided by one point one whole cube but why would you go for cube why why should we make our job hectic you do this calculation and do this calculation do we get the same number let's check it out let's check it out guys 9680 divided by 1.1 uh, raised to the power 2 this value gives us 8000 okay now let's check how much this value gives 10648 divided by 1.1 raised to the power 3 this one also gives you 8000 clear clear guys it's yes. your choice how do you want to touch your ears so your left hand right hand you want to do some yoga and touch your uh, ears or something like that or you know you want to flip do front roll back roll in maharaja position this position that position your choice okay shall we move guys yeah Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes. Depreciation. What is depreciation? Okay. You bought a bike. You bought a bike. Okay. okay. So you bought Royal Enfield. Okay. You bought it in the year 2024. Okay. And you bought it for 2 lakh. Okay. Two years down the line. 2026. Now you want a Continental GT. Okay. And Continental GT cost you 4L. Okay. Otherwise, let's say you want to go for Harley. Okay. This will also cost you the newest variant some, somewhere around this one because the taxes have been eased out. Okay. And yeah, you got the money to buy this. Okay. That's not a big deal. You are commissioned. Okay. And uh, you are having the effect of a life. You saved all your money from the stipend that you get in you got in the academy. That was like 52,000 rupees per month. So you got like 6 lakh rupees. So obviously you went out to you now have some fun. So the first thing was, yeah, you got to buy a freedom. To buy freedom, you got to have a bike. Right. Now, but you have already this Royal Enfield with you. That your father gifted you on your birthday or something like that. Okay. For cracking your examination. For, you know, finding your name in the merit list. Now you want to... Uh, uh, you, you you can't have uh, two vehicles at home. I mean, and you want to sell it. Can you sell it for two lakh? Obviously, it now it's a second hand bike. It has run for, uh, you know, let's say 50, 60,000 kilometers. So obviously the value will reduce. And a friend of yours, he wants to buy it. And you're like, okay, fine. I'll give you at uh, 120. Fine. Okay. So the value of this bike has depreciated. Okay depreciated depreciation it has gone down this is called depreciation okay and when you know you bought gold for example gold chain right right now you bought this at 60,000 for 10 grams okay that means let's say for 6,000 6k per gram right this is 2024 and in 2026 the Rate is 6 kg, 6, 6k per gram. And now you sold it. So the value has appreciated. Appreciate. You appreciate someone. You talk good about something, someone. Why? Because you want to elevate them. You want to help them. You want to talk good things about them. Okay, so that they feel good. So that they are, they work more harder. Right? You're appreciating them. Right? This is increase in the value. So the value of certain things like machine, vehicle, etc. decreases over a period of time. The decrement in the value thing is called depreciation. The depreciation per unit time is called the rate of depreciation. Yeah, you know it. Now you know it. So the present value of the article P 
of the article is p and it's depreciate and it and it depreciate at the rate of r percent per annum then the value of article after n years is p into 1 minus y minus did you guys now understand the usage of plus and minus over here plus and minus r by 100 okay and if it is getting appreciated then write just plus okay is given by this formula value of article n years ago just the interchange of all this position you get this right okay so the question over here is i mean is it clear to you guys yes or no is it clear to you guys is it clear to you guys yes, sir. it's nothing it's just the population it's just the multiplying factor mf that's it i don't know what are the other meanings of mf though yeah anyways given that carbon 14 dating okay this is some 14 c 14 uh, superscript subscript all this bloody stuff decays at the constant rate in which a way it reduces 50% 50 50% 50 in 5568 five, years 50% it depreciates in 5 50% 50 in 5568 five, years okay. in how many years then the age of an old wooden piece in which the carbon is only 12.5% the original is like there was some experiment happening okay and in that experiment it was found that that experiment in 5568 years the carbon content got reduced to 50 percent so in how many years this carbon content will get reduced to only 12.5 percent yes guys any thoughts any thoughts guys so if we assume initial content was 100 in this case initial content was 100 eventually in five five six eight years it became 50 yes or no right so initial was p 100 into 1 minus rate we don't know what is the rate okay so let's write it down like this r into five five six eight is equal to 50 which means what 1 minus r by 100 raised to the power 5568 is equal to 1 by 2 which means 1 minus r by 100 is equal to 1 by 2 raised to the power how much 1 divided by 5568 five, right now right guys yes or no yes or no guys so no. yep yep absolutely yep so the carbon content gets reduced to 50% in 5568 years is it clear is it clear yes. okay if this is clear they are asking that in how many years the carbon content will reduce to only 12.5% okay so basically what basically what it means to say is that in 5568 years 50% got washed off and only 50% is remaining yes. right now and in how many years in how many years what will happen uh, just one one moment guys half and half so into three times yeah yes okay right so in how many years it will become 12.5 percent this is what they are asking right so 100 eventually had it been 100 initially in 5568 years it became 50 did it become 50 guys yes, yes or no? okay and so which means what one if you solve it 100 into by this formula 100 into 1 minus r by 100 raised to the power 5568 why minus because it is depreciating it's depreciating right so that's why we have used this value r 100 we have taken it this side so 50 by 100 it became half and now to get rid of 5568 5568 on the right hand side we multiplied by 1 divided by 5568 on the both hand sides right 
on the both hand sides we multiplied like this right now this is your equation one is it clear up till now yes abhikaran is it clear to you is it yes, clear sir. to you up till now is it clear to you up till now now that was the case number one now the second case the case two what is happening 100 is getting reduced to 12.5 right in how many years we don't know let's call it n let's call it n okay so 100 into 1 minus r we don't know again the r okay by 100 this to the power n is equal to 12.5 now this is nothing but 1 minus r by 100 is equal to 12.5 divided by 100 raised to the power raised to the power 1 by n shortcut right this is a little bit of shortcut over here right now so this value can also be written as 0 0.125 raised to the power 1 by n right 0 0.5 1 by n right guys is it correct can we write it like this 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 n this this power that we have in n when it comes to this side it will become 1 by n right right now yes or no yes. yes or no guys okay so now uh, one moment 0 0.125 0 0.125 q this value is basically your 0 0.5 raised to the power 1 5 5 6 8 this year 1 okay and now this one uh, 0 0.53 by n okay oh they have given 3 by n yeah okay so this value this value is how much 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 is it is it Yes or no? Is this value? I mean, the value that is inside. Is this value like this? Is it something like this? Is it something like this? Are we current? Yes or no? Yes, sir. But uh, isn't it difficult to calculate? What is difficult to calculate? By 1 by 5, 5, 6, 8. No, no. We'll come to that. We'll come to that. Okay. Your friend has dropped off. Okay. He was in the middle of the question and he's messaging me. Let's just wait for one moment. And maybe, yeah, it's not difficult to calculate. You just tell me 0 0.125. Can it be written as 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 three times? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Can this be represented as 0 0.5 raised to the power 3 into 1 by n? Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Right. So this is basically what? This is basically what? 1 minus R by 100 is equal to 0 0.5 whole cube by N. Is it something like this? Does it look something like this? Yes or no? Yes or Yes. This value is nothing but 3 by N. Right. 3 by N. Now this is your equation 2. Okay, your equation one is this, equation two is this. Are these T, are these two equations same? Yes, Aryan, uh, are you following? Yes. What was what was that particular part that you missed? Is there anything was, that, yeah. I was there that equation one, ah, sir, I got it. Yeah, equation one, okay. In case 2, 100 is getting reduced to 12.5, right? So we have just done nothing but we have used the depreciation formula 100 into 1 minus r by 100 just to the power n is equal to 12.5. Then we have taken this 100 on this side, right? Then also n on this side in order to, to get n on this side. This, there was an intermediary steps over here. I did not bother to write that one. I hope uh, that was okay for you guys, right? This 12.5 can be written as 0 0.125 and 0 0.125 can be written as 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 three times. This is nothing but 0 0.5 whole cube. And this can be written as 3 
this 3 into 1 by n is nothing but 3 by n. This is your equation 2. Now, if we equate this equation 1 and equation 2, will we get 0 0.5 raised to the power 1, 5, 5, 6, 8 is equal to 0 0.5 raised to the power 3 by n? Will we get yes or no? Bases are same, then the powers will also be same. That means 1 by 5, 5, 6, 8 will be equal to 3 by n. What is the value of n? What is the value of n, guys? What is the value of n, guys? Was it easy or tough to calculate a v current? Tell me yes or no. But, yes, the picture, but the picture doesn't end here. This is the rule. Okay. Both of you got it clear? Yes. Yes, sir. Cool. Now, let's forget all of this. Okay. In 5568 five, years, it is reducing to 50%, right? Right. That is 50% gone, 50% remaining, isn't it? Yes or no? Tell me yes or no. Yes. yes. So, in the next 5, 5, 6, 8 years, what will happen? Another 50% will go. That means only 25% will remain right now. I mean, yes. I mean, I mean, 100 rupees you had, 5, 5, 6, 8 years, you took time to you know, you know, 100 CR you had, let's say, 100 billion dollars you had, let's say, okay. In 5,568 years, you spent half of it, your family, your 50 generations of family, let's say, half of it. I mean, it should ideally appreciate. I mean, uh, let's not take this one. Yeah, it should appreciate. Yeah, which why should it depreciate? Yeah, right. So some value, let's call it some value in five, five, six, eight years. Let's let's leave, leave let's leave this number behind. Okay, in ten years, in ten years, the value of a car becomes fifty percent. In the next ten years, in the next ten years, the value will become another half. That means twenty five percent. And in another next ten years, it will become half of this value. Even the remaining value that means twelve to twelve point five. Right, right, guys. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. So that means it, it took 30 years, 30 years, or in other words, 3 into 10 for this value of your car to reach from 100 to 12.5, isn't it? Yes, sir. So in this another 5, 5, 6, 8 years, it will take to reach 12.5. That means nothing but 5, 5, 6, 8 into 3. How much is that? 0, 4 years. Yes or no, guys? Yes or no, guys? Yes, sir. That's it. The same thing we have studied in the percentages as well. Something becoming 10 times. Means what? It is giving you 900% of raise. Okay. Something became like, you know, 200, uh, let's say 200%. It became 200% means what? It increased by 200%, let's say. Had it increased by only 100%, it would have doubled. 200% means what? It has got tripled. Right. That means 100 became 300. Right now. There is some relation to it. Think about it. Okay. Think about it. Think. Do, do not think in silos. Right. Yes. Sir. Think about it. Take your time and think about it. Okay. Shall we move? Yes. Or if you guys want to stay with me, I don't mind staying over here for the whole of the night. <laughs> but I'm sure you might have some plans, you might have a job. When is your uh, work starting, by the way, Aryan? Uh, maybe June. Mm -hmm. Not yet confirmed. Okay, this June in TCS. Okay. And what's your work location? Uh, it's not decided yet. Okay. Maybe Pune, Bangalore, something like that. Maybe Hyderabad. Oh, maybe maybe Delhi NCR. Maybe NCR. Abhikan, you are also in TCS, right? What, sir? You are also with TCS, no? No, sir. You are with which company? With Pro? I am working in uh, a small company like Auro Lab in Madurai, sir. It's a medical equipment manufacturing company. I am working as a product development engineer. Okay, okay, okay. Pro product development engineer. What's the name of the company, by the way? Arolab, sir. You can look on the website. Arolab. 
okay okay i'll look into it yeah sure anyways um uh, what sort of equip equipment do you uh, manufacture by the way so we manufacture all ophthalmic uh, surgical equipment so okay ophthalmic surgical equipment related to eyes right uh, eye oil lens surgical blade switches and surgical machines equipment and uh, eye drops and uh, anesthesia some like that sir. oh okay all related to ophthalmic okay all related to ophthalmology okay fine fine okay that's that sounds like some inter interesting conversation <laughs> Uh, let's let, let's keep it for some other day okay yeah yes just because of the interest of time okay but we'll revisit that for sure sounds interesting though the last uh concept that we are going to study uh today is your uh concept about the installments okay right so in this installment in this installment uh do not try to break your head much okay know the formula yeah know the formula over here that's it okay so when a borrower pays the sum in parts then we say here see pays in installments okay like i took some education loan right and now i need to pay it in installments okay so right now a time has been decided in how much time i'll be able to pay back my loan amount okay and adjusting to that particular time my emi has been decided okay what does emi stand for what does emi stand for even i forgot let me google it one moment emi full form okay equated monthly installment yeah that's what it means okay equated monthly installments so it is given by the formula p is equal to x divided by 1 plus r by 100 plus x divided by 1 plus r by 100 square plus dot 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 plus x divided by 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power n okay let's look at the question things will get more clear okay sapna borrowed some money on compound interest and returned it in three years three years in equal installment if the rate of interest is 15 percent and the annual installment and the annual installment is let's call it as emi is 48 no four lakh eighty six thousand six hundred and eighty rupees okay four lakh eighty six thousand six hundred and eighty rupees okay so how much money has she borrowed right how much money has she borrowed so p p is the amount okay p is the amount that she has borrowed okay so four eight six six eight zero divided by one plus r by hundred okay r is 15 yeah already they have given divided by 486680 divided by 1 plus r by 100 square plus 486680 divided by 1 plus r by 100 whole cube right can we take out 486680 out as common okay and maybe even uh, uh 1 plus r by 100 basically 1 plus 15 by 100 that is nothing but 1.15 it just for sake of understanding i'm writing okay over here it will turn out to be 1 it will turn out to be 1 by 1.15 right plus 1 by 1.15 square right guys so 486680 divided by 1.15 into let's calculate these numbers here seriously yeah to calculate these numbers oh if you want to make it a bit uh, more simple in that case let's do uh, 
something like this. Yeah, let's do something like this. If it makes you happy. Yeah, yes, guys, we need to calculate this to get the answer. So one plus one by 1.15. Okay, so one divided by 1.15 is 0 0.8695. Okay, in is equal to whatever value is there plus one. Okay, this one will give you this value will give you 1.8695 equal to into one divided by 1.15. So this value over here, this value is how much 1.62570 equal to plus one. This value, this entire value is how much uh, is 2.62570. Five seven zero something like that. Okay, which is equal to one moment uh, into four eight six six eight zero divided by one point one five. This value is nothing but four two three two zero zero. Now let's multiply this number with two point six two. 570 okay which will eventually give you 111 1 times 1 111 1196.24 okay equivalent to that okay because after this also we have some numbers so if it is equated to 1111 4 times 200 okay so this is your answer C as your correct answer over here. Okay. Rest assured, don't worry much. They will not ask you this question in these exams. Um, it's 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 not easy to find uh, you know uh, the uh, EMI part, the EMI questions. Okay. Even in business, we use Excel sheets and calculators to find all this uh, stuff. Okay. So by using or with, with all these big numbers to do all these calculations, uh, it, it is humanly possible. Yes, I mean, human only do it, but it will take a lot of time. If they ask you this question in, in examination, hold your hands, say, thank you so much for asking this question and please do other questions. Okay, even if you know it, don't do it. Okay, we did this question to find out, you know, that we should not get stuck with this question in the examination. How about that? How about that, guys? I mean, yeah, this is also a learning. Okay. Shall I raise it? I need, I, I want to tell you something. Okay, that's why. So, what did we observe over here that we observed over here that 111200 zero zero was the principal amount that was taken? Okay, 111. And uh, she gave like 486680 into 3. Okay. What is this number? One moment. Uh, 486680 into 3. Okay. She eventually paid back 1460040. This is the amount she paid back okay. right now. Now let's check. Let's take this number. Had she started. Had C been okay, C eventually what 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 point I'm I'm trying to make over here is that is that C eventually paid this number okay, one two three two this is the Indian system okay into one point one five raised to the power three, one point one five raised to the power three, uh into one 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 two zero zero, okay one six eight nine. 996.3 okay this number 1 2 3 this number is obviously lesser than this number this particular number right what what it eventually means is that she took a loan at at, at this point of time okay year one but over here itself she paid 486680 okay over here itself, she paid 486680. Over here itself, she paid 486680. Okay. Instead of waiting for the three years 
that at this point she took this number as loan and and she started taking you know she started paying right now at this point of time you know she, her emi would have been much more than this right her emi would have been much more than this let's write it as plus okay see if eventually as soon as she took the numbers okay she started paying it back and at this point of time had she not gone for emi her debt would have accumulated to be of this number okay i mean i mean you guys are getting the kind of sense that i'm trying to make yes or no guys yes, yes or no avikaran are you getting it did you get it are you there buddy are you there yes sir. okay fine so with this we come to and uh, end of your concepts part of compound interest okay thank you so much for joining uh, we'll meet again uh, to do some practice questions we'll try to do at least uh, 15 20 questions in compound interest which will include a few of your pyqs as well uh, but for the smaller chapters we'll finish it off in one sitting i just wanted to take a bit slow uh, this one so i just wanted to take two classes over here but if we keep on taking two classes and you know, how that we have less than one month of time okay it's 28th already so we have close to uh, 21 days of time 22 days of time since this march is 20 31 days so about uh, 22 days of time and uh, 10th chapter right now we have 18 chapters to complete so we got to buckle up and uh we'll have a few extra classes as well in as we go along okay thank you so much for joining uh gentlemen uh and uh, wish you uh, best and uh, let's uh, meet again tomorrow bye bye good night jain take care